is the movie franchise that made corn and cornfields scary. <laughs> mm, we're talking about Stephen King's Children of the Corn. There's a new version of the Sinister Tale. Here's a sneak peek. From now on, no one in Ralston and no one out. And if anyone cares to stop here, guess what we're going to do? Get him into the corn! That's right. Get them into the corn. Because we don't need a single thing they have to offer. Everything we've ever needed is right here, right out there in those fields. The corn, the earth, will take care of its children. <laughs> and playing the creepiest kid of all is our next guest who has appeared in The Handmaid's Tale, When Hope Calls, and on the big screen in It. So please say hello to the young and very talented actress, Kate Moyer. Good morning, Kate. Hi, how are you? I don't know. How, we're good, but I don't know how someone so cute could be so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, so Children of the Corn, it's one of Stephen King's most popular stories, and there have been a lot of movies based on it. Yeah. So explain to us where your movie fits in. Is it a continuation uh, of the story, or is it a prequel? Our story, uh, the way our lovely director, Kurt Wimmer, um, described it was he wanted it to be, he didn't want it to be like other movies. He wanted it to be solely based on the actual like story mm. and, you know, like possibly a bit of the first movie, but he wanted it to be like a prequel to the first movie where it's like, what happened to the adults and why aren't they there? Ah, I um, see. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of like a modern day prequel, but that's sort of like where he was, where his head was when he was writing it. Understood. Okay, yeah, I remember seeing the original years ago, so I'm looking forward to this one now. You play Eden, right? As we saw in that clip, you're leading this group of kids. So what is she like, and where are you leading them to? All right, well, Eden, um, she's had a very, she's an orphan, and she's had a pretty difficult childhood, and adults who she's supposed to be able to trust in this small town that she lives in have constantly just betrayed her trust, and she she's she's had enough because you know the adults are taking the town in a direction which isn't isn't going to be good for the future generation of mm -hmm. kids um so she she takes control and she she leads these kids to you know step up you know speaking of adults we hear your dad is a huge fan of horror movies and and you've appeared in quite a few horror movies including another steven's uh, story mm -hmm. it <laughs> so is that by accident or your your dad have something to do with this I mean, I don't know about my dad, but I don't know. I, I guess I have no idea. That's are that's you a actually, fan of scary movies? No, <laughs> I, it's, I know it's crazy because I, I do a lot of horror movies, but I guess it, it feels different when you're actually in the movie compared to like watching it because I know what happens. It's not as scary. That's so true. when do you when you go back and watch your own movies, are they scary to you or do you just choose not to watch your movie at all? There's okay, they're not scary when I'm filming them, and I, I know exactly what happens. But the problem is, you know, in post production, they add sound and they add yeah. just, like special effects, so it's not like I'm not 100% sure what I'm expecting. Uh, it's by the way, it's, it's two works of by Stephen King. Are you a fan of Stephen King? I haven't read any, yeah. I, this is actually crazy. I haven't read anything, I because I'm not a big horror fan. But after, you know, being in two things, I feel like I probably should update my horror pop culture. There you go. I mean, you're still so young, though. I mean, and from seeing you, your martial arts skills, what is it possibly in your future? Do you want to do an action film? <laughs> what, what, what do you see yourself doing? You're so young. <laughs> I, I, I do. OK, I like um, like superhero movies, like any Marvel movie or DC movie. Oh. And I really want to do a movie where I get to do like a bunch of cool stunts. So I feel like someday, hopefully I'll get to do a superhero right. movie. When you will it into existence, it happens. What were we just watching there? You were getting a yellow belt? Yes. I'm a black belt now. Oh my black gosh. Belt now. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> and she's just 14. My God. What is it? Making what is movies. It? Black belt. You got to do what? You got to break that wood? You got to do a lot more than bring some yeah. wood. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't want to mess with you. No, we don't. <laughs> uh, but, Kate, thanks for being with us and telling us about uh, the new children of the corn. And uh, good luck with high school yes. as you just began high school. <laughs> That's pretty awesome.
So thanks for your time this morning. All right, you can head into the cornfield for yourself. Children of the Corn drops into theaters tomorrow and on digital and on demand on March 21st. Maybe the poster is, yeah. Yeah.